Hello and welcome back to once again another video back with JJ and today we're going over some myths about the update. Now a lot of people have been asking pretty much about this update. Like what the heck does some of these things do? What did the quest give you etc etc. Now if you did not watch the other video that I created yesterday when the update dropped of all 25 heart locations and everything to do with the update. Go ahead over to that video the link will also be down below in the comments. I hope you have it pinned back by down there. Anyways let's get straight into it. So. The first thing people are wondering is, what did you obtain from the events? Well, when you hit 10 of the hearts, 10 found hearts, what the heck am I getting? Oh, what the? Like a buff. I, I don't know. Anyway, 10 hearts found around the map, which are mostly going to be located over that way, uh, located in my video. But anyway, it, over there is, uh, you're going to obtain 300 coins. Now, your 300 coins, you know, that's not too, too much, obviously, compared to me. Maybe some of you guys need that. It'll definitely help out some starters. Being able to get themselves maybe a void bag when you're definitely starting over, as well as other things. Now, the next thing I'm going to be going over as well is when you hit 15. You do not get anything, believe it or not, when you hit 15, like you usually do every single about 10 to 5. But now we're going to be moving the straight to 20. Now, 20 is going to be the next award that was going to give you the Hearts Mojo. Now, the Hearts Mojo is going to be located right over here. You're going to turn that bad boy on. And now that you'll be having a little bit of a Hearts effect. So, yes. If anybody acts, you can turn on multiple effects at once. For example, that one, that one, and I believe I have a Halloween pumpkins one somewhere in here. Oh, it's already on. Okay, yeah, there we are. Boom, and then you'll have the pumpkins and the hearts going off of your character. That's how that pretty much works. Now, at the 25, people are like, what is the point of grinding it? Well, believe it or not, it's the thing that's falling right behind me right now. It's kind of like smelling my butt, but we're not going to talk about it. Let's see if we move them over. There we go. Is the little teddy bear. Now, a lot of people have been asking as well as what the heck does this little thing drop? Well, it actually drops nothing right now. It has no use, I believe, into the game. I've tested everything. I don't see any use of this thing in the game. Now, I also messaged the owner, Pi, to ask him as well as the developers. I got a message from Knight. He said he's not sure to ask Pi. I've already asked Pi. And he's finally responded about 10 minutes ago. Now, that's why this video is coming out a little bit late. Now, what he said is that there is nothing he, uh, well, he didn't say nothing, but I, I believe there was nothing. And he said, there will be new funny things that this thing does. So I'm not sure it's supposed to be funny, I guess he says. So, so I'm guessing that means there's nothing currently going on right now. So just a cute little teddy bear with the heart in the game that you guys may want to cop immediately before it's gone. And most likely it will be gone by next week. They may add it for a couple more days until probably around Monday is going to be my guess. But you know, that is the guess I'm guessing wait what the heck is this guy hold up okay yeah he was the guy messing with the gold i thought it was the pet for a second i'm like huh that's a grab gold maybe that's the thing but anyway then we go to the next myth y'all know the bush over in the corners of the map knowing that side there's going to be a dave that way and then knowing on that very corner behind that way it is going to be dave now if you have not viewed my other video about dave and the myths that may occur with that thing Nobody knows. They've also found out that Dave is a real person. He's also I've also sounded out a message to him. And he wants to join up for a video. Now, if you guys want to see Dave, the official Dave, join up for a video and him explaining on what the heck this Dave thing is and what it possibly could do, we'll uh, have that coming very, very soon. But please, let me know down below. But anyway, Dave is pretty much a uh, bush that is located through this side. And there's also one located on that side. Now, both of these bushes of Dave, they have around 1 billion health, which is around 100 million to 1 billion health. And believe it or not, that takes around a very, very long time to break. And it's actually impossible to break because um, if you calculate it correctly, you know, we have quite a lot of shutdowns in the game doing the bug fixes, updates, etc. So there is no way you can possibly break that as well as, you know, not disconnecting, etc. But anyway, moving forward. Now, some other myths y'all been asking is, you know, I'm just going to go over some basic tips for the game. How the heck did I obtain the candy bag? Well, the candy bag actually was a limited time item back when you grinded up the Halloween update. Now, this was back when Halloween was an update. Yes, we had a big Halloween update, the biggest update in Booga Booga Reborn's history. My favorite so far. I do love this. I don't know, man. It's kind of close because I do like the new hats here. So it's very hard, but I, will, I am going to have to sadly go with the Halloween update. We had a spider boss that dropped a whole bunch of cool stuff. Which was the first ever boss fight other than the giants up over that way inside of Booga Booga. Now we also had other things. We had two new mojos, which uh, technically weren't mojos. But yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, two new mojos. I'm a little bit slow here. We've had the spider pet. And then we also have the good old handy dandy 
uh, pumpkin effect. You can see going off my character right there. Now, with the spider pet, it drops around one pumpkin every so often. I'm pr pretty sure that's still a thing that it does. And I believe it's really rare nowadays because you get some pumpkins. I have a, quite about 8,000 myself because I don't usually grind them at that much. Now, how to get the candy bag? It was when you finished, I believe it was all 25 or 50. I believe it was 25. Every single, um, it was a little bit of these variants of a pumpkin. But they were purple around the map. If you got 25 of them in the void server, you will in unlock the crafting for the candy bag. Candy bag is now craftable by this. And yes, it does stay during rebirth. So th sadly, the next time you're going to be able to get it is going to be whenever Halloween update comes back. Which most likely will be next year if the game is still obtaining a player base, which I'm guessing it will be. Now that is including 50 pumpkins, 1 pink void bag, 24 odd berries, and 24 strange fruit to craft this handy dandy candy bag. Why must you want this candy bag and why does everyone wear it? Well, it actually is the fastest re regening bag in the game. For example, if I toss up my voodoo at this guy that's begging me for stuff, right there, I'm very sorry though why you watched today's video, um, I just need to showcase that. You can see that this goes a lot more faster, if you look where my mouse is, look how fast it's going up, believe it or not. Now if you take it off and obtain the void bag, it, look how slow it is increasing from there. You can definitely tell the candy bag is like 20, not really 20 times, I'm realistically like 2 times better than the regular one. Now, a lot of people ask, why the heck does the hats glitch into the game? So, pretty much with the halo on, your hair glitches into all your hats. I recommend just taking it off or using a lower variant of a hat, or just taking off your hair completely, just so it doesn't glitch, per se, like what I do. But obviously, if you're using big tanking fights, just take your hair off so that the hair does not collide with your hat. Now, also, people were asking what hats completely did get released, and as well as other hats in the game that people were asking as well. So, people were asking, how the heck did I get the AM Chillman, or the Turkey Hat? Or the pumpkin, pretty much anyone that looks like this in the variant of Snowy Banso. Uh, these will eventually, I believe, be looked like that. I'm not sure though. I'm pretty sure the limited time. Chillman top hat, festive god party hat, and headless. Headless is pretty easy to get though. Y'all know that the game pass over this way. Now let's go explaining them. So pretty much over here, party hat got obtained during New Year's. If you join the event for around 20 minutes, you would get the obtainable party hat. Then if you joined during the uh, the Christmas update. But spent 200k on the Dominus, you get the Festive God. Now, there is a Spooky God, and believe it, Spooky Horns. The horns were 1 million, very low amount of people had it. I had 1 mil at the time, but it was like the only coins I had for giveaways, so I did not do that to blow it off. But anyway, yeah, that was the horns, and then the Spooky God was 200k during that time, during the Halloween events. Now, moving over here, the uh, horns were also during Thanksgiving, I meant to clear that up. Now, the other things. Now, going over to these, this one's obviously during Christmas event, Christmas... Uh, this one was during the, uh, pump the uh, Finding Pumpkins event. There was actually a Finding Pumpkins event here, I believe there was, and that's pretty much how you got that. And, uh, yeah, you got the turkey as well during, uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, you had to find gobblers, I think it was. Oh, something like that, I don't remember. It's been so long, it's been too long. Anyway, pretty much how you did that. Now, that's pretty much gonna sum it up for today's video. I'm not sure if any more y'all want to notice. I mean, we'll go over a few more things about the, uh, Valentine's update, as well as what the god drops over there. The god is going to be dropping around... 40 raw diamonds and around a hundred essence that is around the drops. I did not completely count it. I am just giving an estimate estimate I broke it two times on my stream last night You can go overview that stream and actually showcase some of the update a lot of questions people were asking etc But pretty much how you get there. I'll show you right now You're gonna be walking down here go to the portal Then you're gonna be seeing a big old door take that turn and then in as well as another person asking What's the most fastest thing in the game as well as what the is the most powerful now? It's going to be the goldie boy right there Thank God I saw him to remind me. Saddling him up. It gets you actually to one health exactly. So you cannot take any damage or you will be dead. But pretty much over there, the goldie boy is what you're going to be looking for. It ha Saddle him up. He's the fastest thing in the game. It goes really, really fast, by the way. Like, I mean, super fast. So if you ever join one of my streams, shout out every single night. They're not always the same game, though. And uh, every single night, I will actually have a stream going. And pretty much, you know, those are really good for the hide and seek events. You can really, really run fast with those. And I uh, get across the map very, very quickly. So now once you get into the portal, you're going to go this way. Now you're going to see this little tunnel way. So you want to get up over there as quick as possible. Okay, I hate, hate walking so slow. Uh, please add a pet that adds more speed. Maybe that's what that does. But anyway, moving over here. The god is going to be located right over here. And it has around 50,000 health is what it is at. So good luck to all the people out there that's trying to break it. I'm personally not going to break it. But I, but I broke it twice before. It is pretty OP. But anyways... So I'm just going to end it off to, for today's video, but before we go, I know a lot of people are seeing this right now. I'm probably like, how the heck do I get a tree or rock 
We'll go watch some videos up on the channel as well. It explains everything over there. Anyways, see you guys back up on the next one. Like and subscribe. Join the Discord down below. Let me know what other videos you want to see next. Anyway, adios.